dried fish is a much loved delicacy in coastal cuisine especially during the monsoon when they don't go out fishing and they survive on dried fish like shrimp the dish that we're going to make today go and style dry prawns dried prawns are cooked in a wonderful velvety gravy with coconut tamarind peppercorns and dhania along with drumstick the ingredients we require are I have 100 grams of dried prawns that have been soaked and washed in water. I have one drumstick that has been peeled and chopped into 2 inch cubes. Now I have made a paste ahead of time. In the paste I'll show you what the ingredients that I've used. I've used grated coconut, couple of Kashmiri red chilies, 2 teaspoons of peppercorns, 2 teaspoons of dhania, a little bit of turmeric and a tad bit of tamarind paste. I also have 1 cup of onions little coriander leaves for garnish and salt to taste. To begin with, we're going to heat a pan and we're going to add about two to three teaspoons of oil. Next, I'm going to add all the onions. And we're going to cook this for a minute or two, just until they turn translucent. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of salt, tamarind, the paste that we had made the drumstick now give this all a good stir add just a tad bit of water then we're going to put a lid on this and cook this for about 5 to 8 minutes our drumstick has been cooking for about 5 to 8 minutes. Let me check if it's soft. Yes, it is. Now, it's really nice that you cook it in the tamarind flavored water, so it really has a wonderful flavor. Next, we're going to add our prawns. Now, before I added a couple of things I wanted to go over with you, is when you buy it, first when it's dry, just look through it to see if there's any pieces of dirt or anything else in it. And later on, you need to wash this in clean water about three to four times because there's always some sand along with the prawns. So you make sure you let it soak in a large bowl filled with water for about half an hour and then just pick the shrimp off from the top. All right. So here this is. I'm going to add this. Now this dish doesn't have too much of gravy, so I'm just going to add maybe another half a cup of water. Just kind of submerge the prawns a little bit. At this point you could also taste for salt and tamarind to see if it's sour enough and then uh, adjust the seasoning accordingly and cover it and cook for another 5 to 8 minutes. Our prawns have been boiling for about 8 minutes and they're done. I'm going to turn it off and serve it. Now this tastes excellent with pao or even steamed rice. Now I have kept this with a little bit of gravy. You can choose if you want it dry or with gravy if you're going to eat it with rice or bread. Garnish with coriander and you have a unique dish prepared.